y'all. Welcome back to Miss Pinky Mukbang channel. So today what we're going to be doing is okris with smoked sausages in it. Yes, y'all. Okris. I'm cooking okris. I'm going to show y'all how to cook okris too. Simple, easy. You know, let's do what it do. Oh yeah, for all the new subscribers, welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to the family. No drama, please. You know, we drama free over here. That's all I ask for y'all. Okay, so let's thumbs up this video. Leave me some comments down below. And let's get into this video. Okay, so here's all the greetings I'm going to be using today. I got my Hills Shaw Farm smoke sausages. Quite okra. So I got the frozen kind. It'll make it more easy. Bragg's um, apple cider vinegar to take out the slime. And the okra with the mother. Vegetable oil, any kind of oil, garlic powder, onion powder, curry powder, and all of my seasonings, which is um, celery, onions, and bell peppers, and shallot. In here, and then what you're gonna need is a clean pot. Let's get to it. Okay, folks. So I got my clean pot. I put my stove on seven. And here I got some cooking oil. I'm just going to put a little bit in the pot. Not that much, but just a little bit. I'm going to show y'all. Make sure it's right around. Not that much, y'all. Just enough to. Um, you know what I'm saying? They do what they do. Next, you're going to cut. You're going to put your okra in. You're going to get your okra. You're going to pull them in the bag. This is um 28 ounce bag, 1 pound, and 12 ounces. Next, I'm going to put in some apple cider vinegar. Let me measure it. Okay, so I'm going to put in one tablespoon. 15 milliliters. I'm going to put this much. It's not going to taste the vinegar. It's just the... Uh, Get the slime out. I did ship this up. Put another on. one, two. So I put in two tablespoons. Okay, So let your let your okra start sizzling. Right. The reason why you doing this step with the um cooking oil and the um 
cooking oil and uh, apple cider vinegar is that you want to take uh, take some slime out of this. Okay, so leave on the stove like this here. Let it, what you call it, fry up a little bit, and I'll be back when I'm about to put the rest of my stuff in here. I'll tell you how long I'll be frying it for. We're not frying it, but taking out the slime and, um, taking out the slime. <laughs> we'll be right back. Okay, so this is how the okra's looking after 10 minutes. I got my heat in between seven and eight. I got it on high because I mean I don't be staying up on the stove all day. Like, literally. And the good thing with the ones that's already frozen is that it don't take much work to get the slime out. Hope y'all can see me bring it back a little closer. Start putting the season in here. Your veggies. I mean, the seeds gonna start coming out, so I mean, that's what you want. So, I'm gonna go ahead with my seasoning. Well, my vegetables. Okay, cut your fire down. I usually cook on seven. I'll show you. Get your kitchen bouquet to brown it.
One cup. And two cups. Put your Mama. Mama. Wait, got my thing. Okay. Put your onion powder. Yeah. You got it, powder. how much you want based off your taste buds and your curry powder I like that Jamaican taste that's why I use it and it'll cook down for an hour Gonna let these continue on cooking for like yeah about an hour and thirty minutes. Depends on how they cook down. Okay, I'll be back in an hour. Okay, so likewise, I forgot to put the smoke sausage in now. I'm using a half a length of smoke sausage. Putting that in there. You can also put shrimps in here, y'all. But my mama can't have shrimp, so. I'm just doing smoke sausages. I'm just gonna stir that in now. And that's all, folks. I'll see y'all in an hour. Okay, folks. So at this point, it's been about an hour. At this point, you can cut them off now. Pretty much stay done. Okay, so I'm going to cut them all. And top them up. And I'll see y'all in my mukbang. What's up, y'all? Welcome to the mukbang part. If you made it this far, welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, we have our oak rings. Up and close and personal is still hot too. Okra's and rice with smoke sashes. And likewise, I use my handy dandy seasonal. For y'all that, that don't know that my mama got a um, congested heart failure and she can't have salts. I shouldn't eat any salt neither, but I do. When I do, when I do. So how y'all been doing on your trying times? Crazy time, y'all. I am so ready to get out of 2020 and enter 2021. Trying to stay safe. Let me see about my... Okay, there you go. I'm gonna dot. Oh lord, wait. I want it to be. 
Okay, y'all see me good? Okay. Boom, boom. So. I don't do too much of editing. See. I need to work on my skills of editing. Dibbing, dabbing in. Yeah, this is something new. This old-fashioned oak grease. Yeah, I'll give y'all a bite. This is like a dreary day. But it's trying to uplift your spirits. Let's get it popping. My brother finally coming down from um I'll bust that um uh from South Carolina, him and his wife. And I'm gonna put them in my video. For Christmas. My whole family video. I stopped eating okras for a while, y'all. I'm mean, back in the day, I used to cook okras all the time. Okras, okra gumbo, all that jazz. I just started back. Doing. I must not stay getting into trouble. Go eat your food. So, what's y'all plans for Christmas? Y'all going traveling? Y'all staying at home with y'all family? How many of y'all gonna take the vaccine? Coronavirus vaccine. I'm not. This said the side effects more worse than they getting care. Mm. Mm -mm. I just continue wearing my mask and my gloves and trying to be safe. Practicing social distancing. As usual. Mm. So the difference about this Christmas is that I don't have a Christmas tree. Do you really have to have a Christmas tree to celebrate Christmas? No. Unless you got the holiday spirit and you celebrating, it's about celebrating Jesus. As long as you got that spirit, then you be good.
We're still going to have a good time. It's a lot for me to be happy though. Yeah, a lot. I'm very grateful. For everything. I'm grateful for the trials and tribulations. I'm grateful for the good time. I'm grateful for the bad time. I'm grateful for everything. Oh, that builds up endurance. My light is too, too bright. But I really feel y'all to see me still not seeing me. But I can't go ahead. I think I like this one. Keep up because it's banging. Because I cook them. But yeah, yeah, y'all. I will never forget 2020. Never. But it's time for us to move on. <laughs> move forward. Always move forward and we'll never look back. Ain't nothing back though. Don't so never move backwards. Now, I am getting I don't want eight mil second bowl. There you go. All right, man. Well, let's come to the close to the end. I hope y'all thumbs up this video. Leave me some comments down below. And let me know y'all thoughts on my cooking. And let me know what y'all want to see next. Well, I'm going to keep that to myself. But, yeah, next week is going to be on and popping because I'm doing a lot of cooking. I'm doing all the cooking. I might have my sister-in-law to help me out. Depends. But I like I like to do it. I like to do everything. I like to show off my techniques, my creativity, all that good job. All that jazz and jazz. But y'all stay safe. Y'all be good. Keep your heads up. Don't don't never drown, you know. Don't never go to, you know, do what your best you could to to stay happy. Grab your Bible, read it. It'll uplift your spirits and keep you going. But I love y'all. And I'll see y'all in my next video next week. Mwah.